Here it is. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu says he plans to run for a fourth term as governor, which will disappoint national Republican leaders who had wanted him to challenge Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan next year. WBZ's John Keller shows us how his decision highlighted something he and Hassan have in common, a shared concern about how Washington operates. I, I like moving. I like getting stuff done. I, I don't know if I don't know if they could handle me down there, frankly. I think, you know, I think it'd be like a, a lion in a cage. Governor Chris Sununu won't be prowling the Senate corridors after announcing he'd prefer to stay in a job where political rhetoric has to match up with reality. They don't really have that perspective in Washington. It's about big government. It's about policy and funding. No real sense of management. No real sense of connection to the individual. Something Sununu claims D.C. Democrats like incumbent Senator Maggie Hassan don't get. But Hassan, herself a former New Hampshire governor, begs right, guys, to differ. The question a lot of us um, who have been governors often ask is, okay, I get the idea, but how is that actually going to work? We're working on growing our startup. That's why we doubled and made permanent the state research and development tax credit. Hassan's re-election campaign has been touting her get-it-done credentials on TV for weeks. The good news for the Republican Party and our country as a whole is that the people in New Hampshire are clearly ready to replace Senator Hassan. The motion is adopted. But the confluence of passage of the long-awaited infrastructure bill with all its benefits to New Hampshire and Sununu's decision to stay put seems at least a happy coincidence for Hassan. We have shown over the last multiple months that we can work together and get things done for the American people. So, uh, clearly, Sununu does not suffer from Potomac fever. Uh, he does not have that. And he's been leading Hassan yeah. in some polls. So who might challenge her now? Well, already today, big New Hampshire Republican names like former Senator Kelly Ayotte and former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown have said they're not running. There are a couple of long-shot outsiders who said they'll go for it. But, Paula, this situation, to me at least, illustrates a problem that change candidates often face. If an incumbent like Hassan can make a good case they're doing their best to bypass the gridlock and partisanship that everyone hates, well, they may just not be quite as vulnerable as you would otherwise think. All right. John Keller, thanks so much. Anna Redis.